your year of supernatural turnaround. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our prophetic team for the month still remains. I am for signs and for wonders. Taken from Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18. Praise the Lord. Today being a Thanksgiving day, we shall be continuing with the topic, Signs and Wonders are the Heritage of Those Committed to Kingdom Advancement Endeavors. Signs and Wonders are the Heritage of Those Committed to Kingdom Advancement Endeavors. Before we continue this teaching this morning, I want to quickly appreciate God and appreciate God's servant, the state pastor, for giving me this rare opportunity to stand before the people of God to bring us a word this morning. I strongly believe that because I am sent by him, the grace that is at work upon his life will rub off on me to deliver maximally in the name of Jesus. By this teaching this morning, somebody shall be living here in a multiplied state. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our topic is signs and wonders are the heritage of those committed to kingdom advancement endeavors. Mark chapter 16 from verse 15 to 20. God's servant in the house took us through a wonderful spiritual adventure in the first and second service. And I tell you the truth and I lie not. It was a real blessing. And I want to admonish every one of us to take our time to pick the tapes. And as you listen to them over and over and again, you shall be blessed again and again in the name of Jesus. Truly, signs and wonders are the heritage of those that are committed to kingdom advancement and divorce. And we have been told in the first and second service, that signs and wonders, amongst others, provokes divine favor. Signs and wonders, amongst others, provokes divine favor. In Psalm chapter 102 from verse 13 to 15, the Bible has this to tell us. It says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. For thy servant take a pleasure in her stones, and favor the dust thereof. So the hidden shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth thy glory. And then in verse 15 it says, So the hidden shall fear, the hidden shall fear, by reason, of the favor that God will be unleashing upon everyone that favors the dust of Zion. Praise the Lord. So until you favor the dust of Zion, you are not a candidate for God's favor. Until you favor the dust of Zion, you are not a candidate for his favor. How much are we favoring the doors of Zion? Are you one of those that is nonchalant to spiritual instructions? Then, of course, you are not favoring the doors of Zion. Are you one of those that take heed to every instruction that comes from the word of God and from the mouth of his servant? Then, of course, you are the one that favors the doors of Zion. And until you do this, you are not a candidate for his favor. But I admonish you this morning that you keep obeying every instruction from the mouth of a servant, from the word of God, and then, before you know it, you become a sign and a wonder to your world in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. When you take delight in favoring the kingdom, then, of course, be ready for God's favor. Because God is not a user of man, but he is a rewarder. A rewarder. Every time 
you favor the dust of Zion by obeying the instruction that comes out of the mouth of a servant, then you are on your way to becoming a sign and a wonder. This season, God will make you a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. Signs and wonders, among others, provoke supernatural breakthrough. That's what we have been told also in the first and second services. And God's servant took us through the word of God according to Luke Gospel, chapter 5, from verse 1 to 7. Luke, chapter 5, from verse 1 to 7. And it says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at the war, I will let down the nets. And then verse 6. Verse 6. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their nets break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and feed both the ships, so that they began to sink. That was the experience of Peter, the great fisherman. The Peter who had a master's degree in fishing. But the day came that he was so frustrated in the business. But the good thing was that he gave his boat for the master to go about preaching the gospel. And thereafter, the master gave a commandment and he obeyed. And then he became a sign and a wonder to his world. The same Peter who could not catch anything, but by that singular obedience to that instruction of God, he became a man that was wondered at because he became an employer of labor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This season, God will make you a wonder to your world in the name of Jesus. The word of God also told us in Daniel chapter 12 verse 3, he said, They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars, not for a season, but forever. Those that turn men into righteousness, that is, you are going after the things of the kingdom. He says, he will make you as a star. Not just for a season, but forever and forever. Forever and forever. As you take advantage of these moments, going after operation by all means, bringing in their souls as commanded by the Lord, your star will arise for everyone to see in the name of Jesus Christ. Signs and wonders also engender supernatural fruitfulness. Supernatural fruitfulness. Supernatural fruitfulness. Exodus 23, 25 to 26. Exodus 23, 25 to 26. It says, and ye shall serve the Lord. And then what will happen? God himself shall bless thy bread and thy water. He says, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Then, there shall not cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Plus, I want to us just a while ago that you cannot truly serve God and be suffering from dryness. You cannot truly serve this God and then be suffering from dryness. Because his word will never fall to the ground. If you serve, if you serve, I will, I will. God is not the promise and feel God. Whatever he says he will do, that he will surely do. And he has said it, that as long as you are serving me, I will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. The number of your days, you shall also fulfill. This scripture 
will find expression in your own life in the name of Jesus. But they say, how to serve God for this scripture to be fulfilled? Until you serve him acceptably, you are not a candidate for signs and for wonders. Until you serve him acceptably, your service in this kingdom cannot be rewardable. God someone told us just a while ago. He said, until your service is love motivated. Until your service in the kingdom is love motivated. Then of course, it cannot be acceptable. And once it's not acceptable, it can never be rewardable. But I believe that every one of you will serve God acceptably so that you can be rewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 127 verse 3, it says, Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Praise the Lord. Signs and wonders are the heritage of those committed to kingdom advancement and divorce. Signs and wonders, among other things, guarantees answers to prayers. Answers to prayers. In John Gospel chapter 15, verse 16, the Bible says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. That's what? You may go forth and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should abide. And then you have an open ticket that whatsoever you ask in my name, I will give it to you. Whatsoever means whatsoever. Whatsoever. Anything you ask. After obeying this instruction, go and bring forth the fruits and let the fruits abide. Once they abide, then you are qualified to becoming a sign and a wonder. Because everything you ask, he will do it for you. This season, God will hear you in the name of Jesus. It guarantees answers to prayers. Signs and wonders amongst others also engenders divine health. Divine health. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 17 to 20. Divine health. Divine health. Divine health. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and had given, us, given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. And then verse 20 says, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are ambassadors of Christ. And he has given unto us the ministry of reconciliation. To go and reconcile the world back to Jesus. And then as we do this, God will ensure that he keeps us fit all the time. God will ensure that he keeps us fit all the time. So that we can, for the truth be, his own ambassadors on the earth. Praise the Lord. And we saw in Proverbs chapter 13 verse 17, the last part of it says, a faithful ambassador is helped. So you become health personified. Praise the Lord. That will become your Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Health personified. We saw also in John Gospel chapter 15 verse 2. He said every branch in him that beareth not fruit. He cutteth it away. And every one that beareth fruit. He purgeth it. So that he can bring forth what? Much fruit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Signs and wonders, amongst others, engenders supernatural blessings. Supernatural blessings. Supernatural blessings. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 2. Deuteronomy 28, from verse 1 to 2. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, not some, not few, but all of his commandments, 
which I command thee this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. If you will hack him diligently to the commandments. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hack him unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Praise the Lord. Yours is just to obey. And God is to, to release the blessings according to his word. He said he will set thee on high. The high place is the place of signs and of wonders. Praise the Lord. He will set thee on high if only you will obey. This morning, I believe that the grace for you to obey is released afresh in the name of Jesus. Job 36 verse 11 says, If you obey and serve him, you will spend your days in prosperity. Praise the Lord. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. God does not mean words. He means whatever he says. He means whatever he says. If only you will obey to serve him, you will spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. It shall happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ. He says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 3, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added. All these things. When you get to the point where all things are added to you, you have already become a sign and a wonder to your world. So shall it happen for you in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders among us confess divine protection. Divine protection. Divine protection. We saw in Luke Gospel chapter 10 verse 1 to 2 that Jesus himself called his 70, and then he began to send them out two by two to go and preach the word. And then we saw in verse 17 that when they went, they did not return empty. They came back with testimonies. And they said, even the devils, the devils, they were subject unto us at thy name. Even the devils were subject unto us at thy name. And Jesus said, okay, no problem. Because you have done this one, I give unto you power. Of course. I can't afford to allow you to remain the same way. You are. You care. I give unto you now power to trample upon scorpions and serpents. And it says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Praise the Lord. So, by reason of your obedience to divine instructions, you become a candidate for divine protection. Praise the Lord. Signs and wonders amongst others also provoke supernatural supplies. Supernatural supplies. In Luke chapter 22 verse 35, Jesus was asking the disciples, say when I sent you out, without purse, without shoe, without anything, lacked the anything, and they came and they said nothing. Praise the Lord. Why? Because the sender will always go with you. You didn't go with anything, but yet you didn't lack anything. That's a realm of signs and wonders. Praise the Lord. Everything was provided. You don't need to know how. But because the sender is backing you, you become a sign and a wonder. They never lacked anything because Jesus went with them. Praise the Lord. Signs and wonders, amongst others, also confers the blessing of good old age. Good old age. Good old age. In Exodus chapter 23 from verse 25 to 26, we saw there that he said, the number of your days I will fulfill. The number of your days and I will, I will fulfill it. And then in Genesis chapter 6 verse 3, the word of God also recommended for us 120 years. Your days shall be 120 years. Praise the Lord. Longevity shall become your portion from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. No one will die here before his time. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 92 verse 14 to 15, the Bible makes us to understand. You know, he said, you shall bring forth fruit even in old age. You shall be fat and flourishing. You shall be fat and flourishing. You shall be fat and flourishing. That shall be your portion 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Of course, we are in our covenant day of open doors. We are in our covenant day of open doors. And Christ has told us in his word, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 8, he says, I have set before thee an open door which no man can shut. Praise the Lord. Today, every door of breakthrough that it, our God will open for you, no one will shut it anymore in the name of Jesus. The doors of marital breakthrough shall be opened perpetually in the name of Jesus. The doors of business breakthrough shall be opened perpetually in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And God's servant told us in the first and second service, he said, there are keys to every door. There are keys to every door. Until you locate the right key, you keep struggling. Until you locate the right key, you keep struggling. But once you have the right key, the door will open up for you. God's presence is the master key to a world of open doors. That's what we were told in the first and second service. God's presence is the master key to a world of open doors. Psalm 114 from verse 1 to 7. Psalm 114 verse 1 to 7. Psalm 114 from verse 1 to 7. And it says, When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language. Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fledest? Thou Jordan, that thou was driven back. And he says, Ye mountains, that ye keep like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. And verse 7 he says, Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. When God's presence is with you, no devil can stand your way. When God's presence is with you, no devil can stand your way. Because of the presence of God that was present, the sea was driven back. The mountains were skipping like rams. The little hills were all giving way like lambs. Praise the Lord. Every time you contact the presence of God, the devils, they bow before you. The reason why you seem to be frustrated, limited, in whatever way, is because you have not contacted the presence of God. Everywhere you have gone before and they rejected you, as you contact the presence of God today, you shall be accepted in the name of Jesus Christ. The barrier standing against your breakthrough, after today, you see them no more in the name of Jesus. The presence of God is what makes the difference. That's why the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, it says, if God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? No one can be against us. No mountain can be against us in the name of Jesus. But what must we do to continue to enjoy open doors in the journey of life? What must we do? Number one, be born again and remain so. Be born again and remain so. We saw in John chapter 3 verse 8, it said the wind blew it where it listed. No one can understand where it's coming from or where it's going. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. And that is who you are. The devil cannot understand you. Praise the Lord. In 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, it says, Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God overcome it, the world. Overcome it, the world and its challenges and its mountains and everything. You are an overcomer. That is who you truly are. As long as you keep favoring the doors of Zion, engaging in kingdom advancement endeavors, that shall happen for you in the name of Jesus. You'll be an overcomer. Number two, continue to walk in the fear of God. Continue to walk in the fear of God. In Genesis chapter 42, verse 18, 
Joseph was telling his brethren, say, this do and live for I fear God. This do and live for I fear God. We saw in that same Genesis chapter 39 from verse 2 to 5 how God favored him because he was carrying the presence of God even in the house of his master. God blessed his master and everything was answering for him because he carried the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Number three, remain in love with God. Remain in love with God. That is what to do to continue to enjoy open doors in this journey of life. Remain in love with God. John Gospel chapter 14 verse 21. John Gospel chapter 14 verse 21. Jesus has this to say. He that had my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. So, it is not just hearing the word, but much more obeying it. You hear it and you keep it, the commandment. You are the one that love him. And he will manifest himself in you. And then when he manifests himself in you, then of course you become a sign and a wonder for real in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 says, All things, not some things, all things work together for good to them that love God and even unto them that are called according to his purpose. All things work together. Not some things. Not few things. But all things work together for good. As you keep your love for God alive, everything will begin to work together for your good in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four. Be committed to following God's leading. Be committed to following God's leading. God's leading. Psalm 23 from verse 1 to 6. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil and my cup began to run over. And he said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. When God's presence is following you, there's no way goodness and mercy will not become your portion. Praise the Lord. Just ensure be committed to following God's leading. And we saw also in Isaiah chapter 48 verse 21, the Bible says, For they tasted not when he led them through the deserts. He tasted not. God has already made provision for them for water to drink from the rock. So as they were going, they had no need to thirst. They had no need to thirst. For as long as they were following God's leading, they had no need to thirst. Every dryness in your life Come to an end today in the name of Jesus Christ. Number five. Enter into a covenant to keep serving God and the interest of his kingdom as a lifestyle. As a lifestyle. Enter consciously. Don't wait until you are cajoled. Consciously. Enter into a covenant to keep serving God and the interest of his kingdom as a lifestyle. We saw that also in 2 Chronicles chapter 15. From verse 12 to 15. He says, And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all of their hearts, with all of their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, God of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And then verse 14 says, And they swore unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting, and with trumpets and with cornets. And then in verse 15. And all Judah rejoiced at the, at the oath. For they had sworn with all their hearts. And sought him with their whole desire. And he was found of them. And the Lord gave them rest round about. God gave them rest. Because they sought him with the whole of their heart. And with the whole of their soul. Praise the Lord. So as you continue to consciously make a covenant to keep serving God 
and the interest of his kingdom, rest will become your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Rest becomes your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then every other thing that men are dying for will be handed over you cheaply. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have been talking about signs and wonders as the heritage of those committed to kingdom advancement endeavors. But it has a starting point. It begins by you being born again. I don't know. You are here this morning. Why not take advantage of this moment to reconcile your life with God so that of a truth, everything we have talked about being a sign and a wonder will make a meaning in your life. You are here in the next few seconds. You have not given your life to Christ. Or you have done so before, but somewhere along the line, the storms of life has come in and then you have run away from Jesus. Why not come back to him? For he is the true sign and the wonder. I like everyone that is here that wants to give his life to Jesus, even this hour, take advantage of this moment, so that you become a son and a wonder to your world. Rise up on your feet right now. Rise up on your feet right now. Rise up on your feet right now. Take a bold step as you begin to walk forward. Come and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, so that you can become a sign and a wonder to your world. That everything we have talked about, the favor of God, the supernatural breakthrough, and the fruitfulness, and all we have said this morning, will become your portion. You are here. Please walk fast to the altar. Walk fast to the altar. Walk fast to the altar. Clap some more for them. The more you clap, the faster they will get here. Clap some more. Clap some more. Clap some more. Please run, 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 run. Don't miss this moment at all. This is the time you have been waiting for. Please do that quickly. For Jesus is waiting for you to change your story. Father, thank you. We celebrate you, Lord. We bless your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. My friends, can you put your right hand on your chairs and say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity you have given me to come before you today. Jesus, before you, I confess I am a sinner. Lord, have mercy upon me. Wash away my sins with your precious blood. Give me the grace to stand for you until your second coming. Jesus, thank you for saving me. For now I know I am born again in Jesus' precious name. Now bow down your head as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, your grace of salvation has located this one. By that same grace of salvation, I pray you keep them to your second coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let them stand in this faith never to go back again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power to renounce Satan and to live the remaining days of their life for you is released upon them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for doing it. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. Praise the Lord. God's servant, as the pastor, told us that we should come prepared and come expectant. And that those that are indebted to someone, you are owing somebody and you have been finding it difficult to pay. Or probably your debtors are not paying you. Whether they refuse to pay or they want to even pay but they don't have the means. So you should put it on the paper and bring those situations to God today. I'd like, you to, I'd like you to know that I have the mandate of God's servant as state pastor this afternoon and those blessings he wants to declare on you that is the blessing that the Holy Spirit will be help, will be bringing through my mouth this uh, afternoon in the name of Jesus and for everyone that his heart is open that is focusing on Jesus on the altar today those debt will be wiped off in the name of Jesus Today is our covenant day of open doors. What is open door? Open door is an unhindered access. 
unhindered access. Then the open doors can come in any way you desire it. It can be open door in marriage, career, ministry, finance, health, fruit of the womb, etc., etc. And I know that door that you need to be open unto you that will wipe off those debts, God will open it unto you this afternoon in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, let your amen be the loudest. Let's look at one person that God opened supernatural door for and all her debt was canceled. That is the widow of the prophet. Second Kings chapter 4 from verse 1. We all know the story. Second Kings chapter 4 from verse 1. Now, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the son of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born men. Praise the Lord. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do unto thee? What hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thy handmaid had nothing but a pot of oil. Save a pot of oil. Then he said, Borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors. Even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy son, and shalt pour out in all the, in, into all the, those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon, upon her, herself and the son, and we know all the story. The servant of God, the prophet Elisha, told her, Go and sell. Pay your debt. And the remaining. Be enjoying from the remaining. Live with the remaining. Just one open door. Clear all the debt that will have. She will have lost her son to the creditor. Her two sons for that matter. But one encounter. One door. Just one open door. The whole debt. <laughs> was cleared up. There is somebody here today. God is going to open a door for you that will cancel all the debt you have been owing in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout a believing amen. amen. And probably you are here, you are not owing, but they are owing you and they find it difficult to pay. God will open a door of favor to those who that are finding it difficult to pay you, that will make them to pay you what is due you in the name of Jesus. And those of them that they have the money, they have the money, but because of wickedness, they refuse to pay. God will visit them with judgment in the name of Jesus. God will visit them with judgment in the name of Jesus. But you are going to rise upon your feet with me and pray in a few seconds, few minutes. You are going to open your mouth and pray. You are the one that knows that area where you want God to open that door that will cancel those dead. You will lift up your voice and pray fervently. Remember, the Bible says, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man is what availeth more. You are going to pray, Father, open doors of breakthrough unto me that will terminate my debt in the name of Jesus. Open doors of divine favor unto me that will clear my debt at a, at a go. Lift up your voice and pray the prayer for yourself. Remember you are praying for yourself. Pray fervently. Pray from the depth of your heart. Father, open the door of favor unto me. The door of breakthrough unto me. The door of miracle unto me that will terminate my shame. That will clear up my debt. Open that door in the name of Jesus. And those of you that you are, people are owing you, ask God to open door for those your, um, your debtors. 
that will make them to pay up lift up your voice and pray pray as if you are the only one that is here pray from the depth of your heart pray now raise your voice pray fervent prayer from the depth of your heart lord doors of favor doors of financial favor let it be open unto everyone that desire this afternoon let the doors of favor doors of breakthrough be open this week that will terminate shame that will cancel all debt in the name of jesus somebody is praying from the depth of his or her somebody is praying with focus pray from the depth of your heart pray in faith pray in the name of jesus pray the prayer that must be answered that door that will lead to a business breakthrough that will make them to award a big contract unto you that door will be open unto you now as we pray as you pray raise your voice pray with focus pray from the depth of your heart lord let door be open unto me the door that will cancel my debt somebody is praying that prayer now in the mighty name of jesus the way you open that door to that window of that prophet to that window of that prophet open a door of favor unto me lord thank you father thank you father in jesus mighty name we have prayed in jesus mighty name we have prayed if you are here with your own you are reading it according as the instruction that god's servant gave to us bring out those things you have written and raise it unto god this morning raise it unto god as i pray father in the name of jesus i stand on the mandate given unto me by your servant the state pastor i decree everyone that you are owing i decree supernatural open door that will lead you into financial breakthrough in the name of jesus doors of favor that will cancel those debts i decree it open unto you today in the name of jesus this new week god will lead you into an open door that will make you to cancel those debts in the name of jesus financial breakthrough that will cancel all debt you are owed that breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus if that is for you let your amen be the loudest god is opening for you this week beginning from tomorrow doors of unusual breakthrough breakthrough that will make you to pay up all those debts with balance of money millions remaining in your account receive that door in the name of jesus receive that favor in the name of jesus they will call you from far and from near and give you unusual favor in the mighty name of jesus before this week new week is over that debt you will pay it up the angel of god will come to your rescue god almighty is raising favor for you in the name of jesus you will walk into unusual favor this week you will walk into unusual blessing this week in the name of jesus whether it's the bank you are owing or you are owing individual or you are owing cooperative this week god will, is opening a door for you that will pay up those debts in the name of jesus at once those debts will be paid up in the mighty name of jesus receive that favor right now in the name of jesus and for those of you that people are owing you those ones that are believing god to pay up those debts they are owing you this week god is opening unusual door for them that will make them to pay you in the name of jesus unusual door will be open to those your debtors and they will pay up in the name of jesus and as that door is open unto them they will call you and make their payments in the name of jesus you will not be put to shame shame is terminated in the name of jesus and those your debtors that have the money you have worked for it you have supplied the things you are supposed to supply 
Now they have the money to pay, but they refuse to pay. Before this week is over, the angel of God will visit them. In the name of Jesus, the angel of God will visit them. And they will pay what is due unto you. They will pay hastily. They will pay quickly. In the name of Jesus, they will pay quickly. In fact, beginning from tomorrow, some of them will be calling you. Asking you to send your account number. And as soon as they send you, will begin to receive credit alerts of favor. Open doors of breakthrough. Open doors of financial blessing. Those doors shall be opened unto you this week. In the name of Jesus, wherever you might have been rejected before, they will call you this week and give you your desired testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you go into this week, you are covered with the blood of Jesus. All your family members, home and away, they are all covered with the blood of Jesus. You will not receive evil news this week. You will not receive any evil news this week. All you'll be hearing is congratulations. In the name of Jesus, no one here will be a victim of kidnappers. No one here will be a victim of ritual killers. In the name of Jesus, accidents shall be far away from you. In the name of Jesus, the favor of God will distinguish you. As you keep advancing the kingdom of God, in this ongoing operation by all means, all your desires shall be added unto you. The blessing of God will be added unto you. Your, your life will not lack testimonies. Signs and wonders will keep following you. In the name of Jesus, as you keep advancing the kingdom of God, going after souls and bringing them into the kingdom of God, signs and wonders will be the order of the day in your life. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say a big and louder, Amen. amen. Together, let's share the goodness and fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and his mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. Then expect turnaround to become your new identity from henceforth. Together we say, Amen and Amen.